Miami Homecoming 1992 had the Black Knights playing host to Lafayette. Inside the jam-packed Mikey Stadium, the spirit was back. I like having a 12th man on the field. They're always behind us. One of our goals was to take back Mikey Stadium. So we wanted to win at home, especially. The recharged atmosphere helped Rick Roper and the Army offense mount Operation Raging Fury. The offensive line led the attack with Mark Escovito, Troy Prehar, Kevin Muir, Kalen Kennel, Matt Conway, and senior John P. Rod banging big holes in the Leopard defense. Rick Roper completed nine of ten passes in the first half as Bob Sutton's wishbone took on a daring run-and-shoot look. Left 48, left 48, left 28 Texas, left 28 Texas, right twin 88 Chicago. Let's go Ricky, 28 quick, get out of bounds, hurry up. Left Bear, 179. The result was an all-out scoring blitz led by three brilliant Rick Roper touchdown runs. Back in, get down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Next, it was Weber, leaping in from the 1 to make it 28 to 14 midway through the third period. When Army senior defensive back Will Manning recovered a Lafayette fumble on their next drive, it looked like an Army route. But minutes later, when the cadets fumbled, Lafayette grabbed both the ball and the game's momentum. That really gave them a new right. Great opportunity to, to beat us here at uh, Mikey Stadium. And uh, uh, then we were hanging on. We were fighting my deck. And uh, uh, it was just a matter of they, they really couldn't stop us, but we couldn't stop them either. And, uh, you know, we had the, whoever had the ball last, I guess, was going to win the game. With just over five minutes left, it was a tie game, 28 all. Quickly, Roper put Army back in front with his fourth touchdown of the game. But Lafayette would not go easily. They scored and then converted on their two-point attempt to go up 36 to 35. When Army got the ball back, Roper and the Black Knights had just one minute to manufacture a miracle. Andrzejewski comes to this side. Halfbacks are set. Roper goes back. Has time. Being rushed. Dumps it out here. Complete up at the 31-yard line. Complete to Andrzejewski. And they're going to come out. A little delay to Davis. Davis gets to the outside. He gets to the 40, 41, 42-yard line. They get King to the 42. That should be a first down. Stop the clock with 45 seconds left to move the chain. Andrzejewski out wide right. Man in motion as Roper rolls to this side. Look, sets up. Throws. Man open. Andrzejewski down to the 35. Has it. First down Army. Hathaway to the left side. Andrzejewski to the right. Roper goes back. Has time. Looking. Got a man open. Down at the 24. Andrzejewski has it at the 24. This is it. Ten seconds left. At the Malcolm from the 33-yard line, a 43-yard attempt from the near hash mark here. Here's your ball game. Shaw will hold. It's down. It's up. It's long enough. It's down. Pat Malcolm's 43-yard game-winning field goal capped off a wild 38-36 homecoming victory for Army.